So, hello there. Uh, well, I'm driving to a nearby town at the moment. Um, actually, the town my, my sister lives in, but I'm actually going out to do a quick ingress, ingress mission, uh, the second of which I've done since I've started playing. Um, decided to kind of treat myself a little bit, you know, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> you know, I mean, whatever. But, uh, I was planning on doing maybe doing maybe two more besides this one, but uh, so I think yeah I'll just probably do, do this one this morning uh, since it's such a drive over here just to this one I'm going to right now. Uh, basically, this is one of those essentially this particular mission is just one of those hackery portal in town kind of missions, you know, one of those town tour type missions or whatever. You know, no real name story to it or whatever I guess, but. Anyway, uh, last night, I mean, yesterday, I've been recently kind of looking into, like, you know, you know, like, volunteer opportunities involving photography again, and, well, I saw one last night, uh, yesterday, yesterday, that I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I didn't think about this before, and, well, basically, you know, I, I for the past couple of weeks, I've been consider, heavily considering volunteering, maybe at the animal shelter in my town. You know, just to, you know, volunteer, and plus, you know, one benefit would be to, I could add that on my re my resume and all that for other things, but I, uh, because yeah, I was actually kind of thinking about, you know, of course, I've been kind of thinking about trying to get a job, um, you know, aside from, like, what I, the other things I'm trying to work on, but uh, I've been trying, to, I've been thinking about trying to get a job working at the, at one of the animal clinics in my town, uh, the one, I, I think I've talked about this in the past, you know, the one that's just down the street from my house. Um, and I kind of thought, well, hey, you know, I bet that would look good, you know, well, you know, I'm already volunteering with animals, and so obviously I'm already working with animals, so hey, that would be a benefit. <laughs> but, you know, until, like, uh, further notice, until maybe other things can be done or what have you, um, you know, always having backup plans and everything. <laughs> but I was looking at this, uh, volunteer thing last night, you know, for ideas or whatever, ways of volunteering, like using photography. And one of the things on this on this list stood out to me last night. Well, it was that one of the ideas was actually volunteering as a photographer for animal shelter for an animal shelter. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, there you go, right? <laughs> it's like that's something I can't believe I've never actually considered or thought about before. <laughs> So I may, have, that may be actually something to look into. Um, can't go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Double volunteer methods, if you will. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that said, well, of course, you know, the whole trip to Florida is coming up, you know, pretty soon, the next couple of days. I'm not sure if we're leaving Saturday or Sunday, because yeah, that's how my family does, as I've said in the past. You know, sometimes you never, as I've, said, as I've said in the past, with my family, sometimes you never really know until, like, the last minute what what the plan is. You know, it was for a long time we were going to leave Saturday, but then now my family's talking about well, we might leave Sunday instead, and uh, for some reason or another. But now it's like, now it's back and forth as usual. Okay, we're going to leave Saturday. No, we're going to leave Sunday. No, we're going to do Saturday now, and, you know, blah, 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 back and forth. I mean, <laughs> you know, I've talked about that in the past, you know, where, like I said, I mean, you just never, sometimes with my family, you just don't know until, like, the last minute, but one day this weekend, we're planning on leaving. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually still here in Wheeland. <clears throat> you know, Wheeland, Mississippi, which is the birthplace of Jim Henson and Kermit the Frog, <laughs> and the Muppets, I suppose. Um, actually, uh, just got five portals left to hack. I just am looking for. Okay, here's uh, the next one. It's at this restaurant here called Vince's, apparently. So, just a moment.
Let's go ahead one more portal. And then I'm calling it a day, I guess, for, for this mission. Yeah, it's just like uh, right down the street right now. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get to. See you out there, guys. I'm just going to drive that on down to this last portal. Especially <laughs> switching to the lot longer than I thought it would, even though it only said like it would take like 15 minutes. It's taking quite a bit longer, actually. All right, so I just got the last portal, completed the mission. Um, I'm actually going to go up to this uh, convenient, a nearby convenience store. Uh, Got to run to the bathroom <laughs> before I head home because it's going to be like a probably like a 20, 30 minute drive home. And I'd really, really rather not prefer holding it that long. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is pretty much a lot of the area that I was in doing this mission. Yeah, it's kind of a old looking town through here, but, you know, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's actually a pretty small town, you know, for the most part. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, Jim, this, is a, this is actually the town that Jim Henson, Jim Henson was born in. Um, there's like a little sign over here for like a, they call it like the birthplace of um, Kermit the Frog, where it talks about it. I took a picture of it, which I'll include in the video, so, yeah, for you guys to read if you want to. But yeah, I mean, this is uh, the second mission I've done with Ingress since I started playing, though, as I said earlier in the video. I've just been wanting to come, wanting to come do another one. Um, you know, I was planning on doing like two or three more, but this one took so long. It's already like 10.30 almost. It's going to be like 11 before I get home, so... If I did the other one, it'd probably be another two hours, and yeah, I'll, I'll come back and do those later, I guess. Um, I'll let you guys kind of check out the area, instead of staring at me the whole time. I really should have turned here. <laughs> um, I think hopefully nobody was behind me. Because, <laughs> yeah, this gas station is, like, right up here. Uh, actually, this is uh, kind of close to where my sister lives, uh, in this little area. Not down, not down, the, she doesn't live down the street or anything, but it's over in, like, this area, looking this way. Uh, I probably won't stop by or anything. They're probably gone anyway. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> funny enough, uh, I actually used to live uh, in the town neighboring here. About it's about five minutes away. Um, when we first moved here, I think this is actually, this is the town actually not my mother wanted to live in, like uh, Wheeland. Uh, the neighboring town is a town called Greenville, which is I think like one of the it's one of the ten largest cities in Mississippi. <laughs> So a very good area. It's actually one of the, I think it's actually ranked on one of the most crime infested cities in Mississippi, surprisingly. Well, actually a lot of those places are on the list of or places I used to live in. Surprisingly. Alright, so I just left that gas station. Yeah, I'm good to go now. So I'm gonna make the full roughly 30 minute trek back home now. But yeah, I mean, like I was saying, yeah, this town actually has the distinction of being the birthplace of Jim Hansen, of, you know, Muppets fame. You know, yeah, see, I mean, surprisingly, I mean, yeah, I actually uh, live near where uh, Jim Hansen was born and grew up. Uh, nice little historical fact for you guys. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, know who Jim, <laughs> Jim Henson is. Um, what this car passed for, yeah, because, you know. yeah, I just always thought that was pretty cool. There's, there's actually a, a Jim Henson Museum uh, here in this town, which I actually have not been through in years. I, I actually would love to go through this museum again, which I actually might do that in the near future, in the nearest future. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think that would be a fun vlog to do, uh, going through this uh, Jim Henson Muppet Museum. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe eventually. It's like some old train tracks right here. There's another common sighting, like this area, these areas where I live. Like abandoned 
no, well, not really abandoned, but like no longer in use uh, train tracks. There were there were some that ran through my town that, li that I live in, but they took them up and have since kind of turned into like a little walking trail. Uh, and and there's like also a um, train museum, you know, along in there, which of course I've been through before some of my videos. But yeah, I mean, I know this. I I, I kind of wish I could have gotten more footage of me like walking around doing these portals, kind of like showing you guys the town. Um, <laughs> it, it does. This, that's, that's the funny thing about uh, about this town. It, it does have this kind of this old timey old town kind of feel to it, like through here. That's kind of cool. Um, I was gonna show you guys something real quick, but yeah, the light turned green. <laughs> so there's like another museum right in here called like the Highway 61 Museum. It's like a blues museum right there. Um, <laughs> a fun little story for you guys though involving this town. <laughs> a couple of years back, I was with my parents, and we were driving home, and we were coming we were coming down this highway that I'm on right now, and actually. Um, good little thing right here for this little field trip story here. Uh, we were actually right here at this stop slot, this stop sign. Should tell you right here the kind of quality <laughs> about this area that I live in. Then we can have a stop stop sign, a uh, light, a stop sign with a light by it. But, but yeah, we were actually stopped right there when uh, basically these three guys or th three, four guys were in a car behind us and basically they they ended up like hit, hitting us from behind fortunately not hard enough that it caused a great deal of damage but <laughs> quite enough that you could feel them hitting the car though and then basically like we pulled over into the, the nearby uh convenience store gas station thing place and these guys actually took off you know actually ended up taking off you know didn't stop and i don't know what came over my father I don't know what made my father do this, but he actually ended up like chasing these people down. <laughs> he he actually drove and chased these people down in a in a car chase. <laughs> I'm serious. He literally it's like literally I was, we were like it was like a car chase down like these streets. You <laughs> know my father started chasing these people. And then to and then what's so funny about it is as we were as my father was driving we were chasing these people to do what I have no idea. <laughs> I was probably like 15, 16 at the, at the time. And basically though as we were chase as we were driving after these people which really my father should not have done I suppose but <laughs> especially considering the area we were in these these guys actually actually seriously started throwing drugs out their window. <laughs> <laughs> These guys literally started throwing pack, you know, packaged drugs out of their car, uh, like, you know, like these little clear Ziploc bags or whatever. <laughs> it was like they were literally like throwing bags of like white stuff out of their car. <laughs> that was that's always been kind of an interesting story. Um, yeah, very very interesting. More so if you were actually there at the time. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those stories my father loves to tell people. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, I'm sitting here on the getting back on the highway now. So yeah, I'm about to make the trek home. So well, I don't know if I'll do anything else for this video, but if I don't, and this is it, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you guys will stick around for more. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then.